This is day two of completing the square with a little bit more advanced problems. As we look at problem one, and we consider doing it by completing the square, we need to remember to start the problem, we have to have the number all by itself on the other side of the equation. So, in our first example, we have a plus 3 tacked onto the x squared minus 20x. To eliminate this, we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. That's going to give us our starting point, x squared minus 20x equals negative 3. Now, I hope you noticed that I left a blank in there. That blank is going to be filled with a number that makes this problem into a perfect square trinomial. To find that perfect square trinomial, we say, what is half of negative 20 squared? Well, half of negative 20 is 10, squared is 100. So we're going to add 100 to both sides. We now have a perfect square trinomial on the left and 97 on the right. To determine what this value is on the left, we merely take half of the negative 20 and we have x minus 10 parentheses squared. The next step in our problem is going to be to take the square root of both sides. So we take the square root of both sides, remembering that we have to have that plus or minus out there. So don't forget the plus or minus when you take the square root of both sides. The square root of something squared is merely what's inside, x minus 10, and the square root of 97 on our calculator to the nearest hundredth is plus or minus 9.8. So now we're going to split our problem into two parts. x minus 10 equals positive 9.85 and x minus 10 equals negative 9.85. Solving this, we're merely going to add 10 to both problems on both sides. That gives us on the right x equals 19.85 as an answer and on the left x equals point one five. It's important as we're doing this that we write our answer using solution set notation and so using solution set notation our answer is going to be 0.15 comma 19.85.